Here's another cool video about one of these awesome record players for the Seance game. This is the Seance with the Made in USA bottom half. And of course with the Seance it's got the orange record with, let's see how many messages, like 12 messages on one side and 10 on the other, something, something of that nature. Um, but it's got the switches and the end message switches that are over here. Now I've got the cover just sitting on, so I'm going to take them off, take a look at them. This is the lid close switch, as you can see right here. So under that, this is pushes down, of course, and turns the turntable. Occasionally, this gets mashed down. So what you want to do is gently lift underneath of it, bare tweezers, up here so that it's not making contact. When this pin comes down and touches it, it will turn on the turntable, as you saw just there. Now, if it still doesn't turn on with the lid on, and you're sure you have the battery in the correct direction, and like I said, as in the other videos, this cool little handle of tape works out really well with plucking the motor in and out. So make sure the tip of the positive side is over here on this side clicked into place and if it still doesn't play when you close the lid you've got the record in the needle in everything is fine you've got the arrow out of the way and you're able to turn this on by hand by using a pair of tweezers and just flicking the motor try not to touch it with your fingertips you have corrosive it will cause some corrosion to the uh, brass but if it still doesn't work when the lid comes down, because this is the fine measurement between the lid uh, pin coming down and touching this, occasionally you may have to just take a little pair of tweezers and go underneath the tip, the arrow shaped part, and just give it a little twist down, turn down, and still make sure that it doesn't, during this process, if it bends down and it starts making permanent contact, just give it a flick up. Just pick it up a little bit, a tiny bit, so it makes a bend and it's no longer making contact and the record is not turning. So to test it again, just press down gently with the tweezers to make sure that the record turns on and off. And then you should have it playing. It should close, close the switch, needle's good, record's good. I always liked you, Bunky. You shall have twice what you paid for that article. And if you're on number four spot, you get four times. Aren't you the smart one? Okay, so played, stopped. Tone arm flopped back over and again. Be very careful with this lid. In this case, this lid goes back this far with the legs off. But when you put the, lid, the legs on, the lid leans forward. There's no way to keep it from flopping forward unless you use one hand to hold it or somebody to hold it or tip up the turn turntable and put something underneath of it to change the record it's quite a feat I'm sure everybody has flipped the, the lid accidentally but we don't want to do that because that needle has no protection from slamming the lid at this point so just for precaution every time you lift the lid put in the stop and put it in front of here so when it hits accidentally the sponge makes contact with the record and the needle stays away. So again, this kind of thing is going to happen with this lid close switch occasionally because you're putting on that, that leg on this corner and when you flick them off, one thumb here and one thumb over here to knock them off after gameplay, occasionally you can bend this. So this is kind of a little tuning thing you may have to do on occasion. But it's just lift this so it doesn't make contact. If it still doesn't play, Give this tip a little turn down. Happy gaming.